Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I want to show how to make a storm effect uh, with rain and thunder in your video game. Uh, as you can see in this video, which I also uh, showed in the last video where I explained the uh, ecosystem of Playmaker. So let's get right into it. Uh, I've got the scene already a little bit set up here. Um, and of course I will... Uh, just shortly show you what I'm using to make this scene. Uh, I've got the global volume also now uh, set up in this game with different setups to make your game look better. Um, I definitely recommend this for your game. I will perhaps make a different video uh, dedicated to this on how to play with the different settings. There's a lot of options, but to simply show it, if I would delete this, it gives a little bit a different feeling as you can see. For adding it, it's more darker, so I'm trying to make this kind of stormy environment, and this global volume helps with this a lot. In addition, I'm also using a um, rain effect, and this is in the foreground, background, rain particles here. I've got several rain set up, and I put them next to each other. I've got every time two one rain effect with collider so they kind of stick on the ground a little bit and then disappear and then i've got a rain effect um, coming in front um, if you want to see how i set up the rain let's have a look here i don't really want to go in too much detail as the main objective today is to show how to use how to create this kind of thunder and lightning effect but anyway you can here see the setup I've got an emission rate just a simple shape. What's important is that I use a box shape and I just drag it out. So the X is uh, quite a high value. And for the render, I'm only using a material or rain material. And the rain material is just to make a material with this kind of rain color. And do play around with this. If necessary, I can dedicate a video to this as well, but have a look. So today, um, the main objective is to show how to use Playmaker to um, shake your screen and also to make a thunder sound as well as this lightning effect. And for that, I've set up a finite state machine. So here it's already set up. I will shortly delete it and show you what exactly it's made of. So first of all, I'm just gonna delete my global light and what I'm mainly using now in this setup is to create a thunder and lightning effect by global light. So what I'm going to do is add a new global light, 2D, global light, 2D. And I want to have all layers uh, lit up. And as you can see, it's already very bright right now. So the standard, um, let's say, Brightness you can pick here. You can change it a little bit around uh, depending on how you want to make your game dark. We let's add FSM here and call this FSM Thunder Lightning. Yes. So once I've created this FSM, let's start with a random weight as I don't want the, the lightning to, let's say, come. Constantly, I'm just going to make a random weight between, let's say, 8 seconds and uh, 20 seconds. And afterwards, I will finish this state. There we go. Random weight. Because otherwise, my lightning effect would come every second second, and we wouldn't want that. Once uh, the random timer is done, I'm going to, let's say, flash the screen. So flash screen and I'm going to do this by changing the property of my global uh, to the light. So property set property of object. And what I can do is I can just drag the, the light to the in here and then I can select a, a property, which is the intensity. And let's just make the intensity 1.4, for example. 
and we're just going to keep it every frame. And in case I currently made a background, which will also light up, um, let's say it's the clouds in the background, but you could also light up your background. So I change the color of your background. I'm just going to leave it like this. It's just going to also add a short weight here. The weight, and I'm also going to add a finish finish transition let's wait for like say 0 0.2 seconds and then we finish and I'm just going to copy and paste this whoops right over flash screen and make it normal and here i will just let's say set the intensity back to 0 0.5 so that this will give me a short flash flash intensity and of course if i have lightning i might want to do it that the it lights twice or once with different intensities so what i could do is um, make this just very short so i'm just gonna get a quick flash I'm just gonna copy the first one again just going to connect it let me zoom this out a little bit and then also i'm going to copy this one make it normal again and now i will have two flashes during the light and then i'm going to go back to the random weight and let's just shortly check what this would be I also added, of course, a ambient sound, which I got from the internet. Um, I should have made it shorter <laughs> for this video, but I've got this uh, kind of ambient sound of rain and thunder in the background. And let's just see if now my screen will flash. Yes. So that's that's good. That's already how you can create a, a thunder flash. And of course, what you can add now after the two flashes, we want to add one more state, which let's say, let's make this the, the thunder. So let's add here a audio, audio source. There we go. And we're not playing on the wake. And I think I've got here a thunder sound, thunder sound effect. Let's listen to it once, possible. Whoops. All right, that 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 sounds reasonable. <laughs> I actually wanted to play it here, didn't work out. So now the global light also has audio source with this thunder included. And what I can do here is just audio play and I'm just gonna use the owner and yeah, the volume could be one can also be changed however you like and I will not wait for the end of the clip what I'm gonna do is add another weight here uh, with a 0 0.5 second delay and then I'm gonna go finish just gonna add the finish state and afterwards, I will add one more state, which will be the shake screen state here. We connect it. And for the shake screen, I want to go to Playmaker. And then I go to the add-ons, ecosystem, to the ecosystem browser, which I also showed in my last tutorial. And here I'm going to search for the shake. And now I've already um, installed this game object shake 2d to my project and once i have it installed i can look here for shake and you can find game object shake 2d which is a action from um, the ecosystem and i'm gonna specify a game object here which is going to be the player camera and i want to sh shake the screen for let's say 0 0.3 seconds um, a shake amount of 0 0.02 is already quite subtle and it's great for camera. I want to have it a little bit less. Um, interpolation, I'm going to just leave it off. I don't want to play around with this. 
And the rotation amount, I actually also don't want very high. I just want a subtle shake. Just gonna put it on 0 0.015 as well. And I'm gonna exit on finish, finished. Gonna add a finish state, whoops. And then I'm going back to the random weight. So what will happen now, the thunder sound will play and it will wait for 0 0.5 seconds uh, before the shake will start. And this is because the audio file is usually a little bit delayed at the beginning. It doesn't play the thunder sound right away. And this should help here. I'm just gonna go over it right once more. So the time is 0 0.3. You can also make this a little bit less. Uh, shake amount 0 0.015, rotation amount also 0 0.015, and then exit on finish. I'm going to go back to the random weight. Now let's demonstrate this uh, once just here um, in game while watching the infinite state machine doing its work. Oops. So. Well, that looked quite good. Let's pause it once. Maximize the screen. Gonna unpause it. Ah, pretty cool, if you ask me. Of course, you can add one more flash there as well. Uh, add as many flashes as well. But of course, make sure not to give people uh, epileptic uh, seizures. Um, we wouldn't want to do that. So just be subtle on the flashes within your game. Um, I hope this helped you and that you can use it in the game. Thank you for watching. See you next time.